Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. And today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan SEL R-Line 4Motion. This particular one is Oryx White Pearl effect on the exterior with noise set brown leather interior. It features LED headlights, LED running lights, adjustable LED or self-leveling headlights, an LED light bar on the front here. There's actually a light bar that lights up right here, that middle rib up to the logo and across to the other side over here. There's a front facing camera, three, six, part of the 360 camera setup, power folding mirrors, keyless entry on two doors, the bowl line down the side that lines right up to the wheel arch right here and lines up to that point right there on the headlight. Body colored paint below the chrome line right there. 20 inch machine black and silver alloy wheels. Another chrome line back here on the bumper, body colored paint below that quad faux exhaust tips at the base back here underneath an oversized reflector right here the tiguan name badge right there underneath the logo in the middle an sel badge over here on the left side and then the four motion badge the new design four motion badge right here on the right which means all wheel drive oryx white pearl effect is this color beautiful in the sunlight that pearlescent color shows through there's the Tiguan R-Line flare right there on the front quarter panel there. Integrated turn signals in the mirrors right here. A closer look at that alloy wheel there. Very, very nice. And then keyless entry on the two doors. You do have on the inset here, here's a look at that court, that, I'm sorry, not quartzite, but uh, noise set brown leatherette interior there. Right here, this is also leatherette. Contrast stitch on the edge right here trimmed out in black silver tips on the window switches there power folding mirrors and heated mirror knob right here and a power lift gate button right here I lift up on that guy right there there's my power lift gate lift up and hold and that will also close that lift gate now that lift gate is also an easy kick open hatch and it actually will close with the kick function as well with a chirping timer uh, when you kick the close um, on this car here it does have a delete for the ventilated seats but we'll get to that in a, when we get to the window sticker here here's a look at the noise set brown on the leather part here the door panel the door inset is leatherette the actual seat right here is real leather this is a heated seat it's normally a ventilated seat as well but that's been deleted on this trim uh, for 2022 it has a bit of white piping right here that goes up behind the shoulders right here and a contrast stitch down the bolster right here Three seat memory right here, lumbar support, power forward and back there, and then forward back up and down adjustments right here, and then seat back adjustments here. Before we climb in, here's a look through the car right here. There's a look at the back seats there. Black headliner and uh, sunshade right there. Car seat hookups on the left and on the right right there. This car is already sold, so um, they're coming to pick it up today. Here's a look at the armrest here. Leatherette trim right here, contrast stitch right there. I'll go over the storage compartment there in just a second. Here's a look at the monster match right here that say Tiguan on them. They're already installed as this car is ready for delivery. As we climb in here, here we go. Digital cockpit right here, uh, adjustable steering wheel right here. It's a leather wrap flat bottom steering wheel. You can pull out, push in, raise and lower it, lock it where you need right there. You do also have fuel gauge over here on the right, temperature gauge over here on the left, this is an adjustable uh, um, instrument cluster here, so you can change. Customizable is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, you can put nav over there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the nav over on the steering wheel side instead of here. So it shows up here. Now you have the dial screen by hitting the view button. That view button right there with my thumb, I can go to widescreen. I also have a crop screen. Just changing it by hitting the view button right there. You can also customize what is displayed in these by going through the radio here. I've done a couple videos of that already, so I won't go through that again here. Uh, this one here does have adaptive cruise control, lane assist, blind spot monitoring, all that good stuff there. Just by pushing the button on the tip of the turn signal here, I can bring up this menu. I want to select the lane assist, hit the OK button over here, arrow down. And also there's ACC, which is adaptive cruise control and regular cruise control. You can turn that on and off by hitting this button right here. That button there. Now ACC is on. And I'm going to hit the button on the tip again so we can go through the rest of that menu there. 
So there's lane assist, adaptive cruise control, or regular cruise control. I have side assist, which is my um, uh, blind spot monitoring on the sides, rear cross traffic alert, and then front assist. And then by hitting this button here, I can just take that away. And now I'm back to my nav screen here. I personally like the wide screen, so I'll set that up there. I do have dynamic road sign display. That's why you see a speed limit sign right there. And the drive mode right there shows up as an icon, outside air temperature as well. Um, so this does have a coin box for storage over here to the left. You do also have automatic headlights right here. Uh, and for your poor weather, poor weather lights, you can pull out on this guy right here. They work like fog lights. They help light your peripherals. Um, then also, this is a heated steering wheel. The heated steering wheel icon is right there. Song skip and preset skip here. Volume control right over here. This car does also have travel assist, which um, I can activate using this button right here. I'm in park, so it's not liking that. So it's not going to help me out there and show you anything. Over here on the radio, it's an AM, FM, and satellite radio. Uh, it does also have, um, let's see here, uh, App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink on this system here wirelessly. There's also a wireless charge pad down below right here. So you can charge your phone down here just as long as it doesn't have a pop socket or a otter box case on it it'll charge in the case right there there's also two usb-c connections right here to charge if you want to connect old school and then you also have two uh i'm sorry a 12 volt charger port right there as well the shifter is also backlit it's kind of hard to see with the windshield or the sunroof kind of reflect or actually i guess that's the windshield reflecting down on it but it's backlit there it's lit up and P, the p is lit up there um, the backup camera on this one It's an HD camera. It does have trajectory steering as well. I can turn the wheel left. I can turn the wheel right and The yellow line moves accordingly the green line signifies straight back the red line signifies where the bumper is I do also have park assist on this car so I can actually uh, Help get some help parking the car you control the gas the gear and the brake It does the steering and it will tell you when to turn when to go forward or back you do also have a 360 camera. I can bring it up on the screen here and I can touch any quadrant on these this little icon here and touch the roof to get back to overhead. So I can get any side of the camera there and I can also get different views. That's that button there. The auto start stop button is right here. The electronic e-brake is right here. I can just lift up on that guy to activate and then put my foot on the brake and push down to release. Speaking of the brakes, there's a look at the pedals there, the footrest, stainless steel. Also the same with the accelerator and the brake pad there. Our lines give you that. Uh, also on this R line, this nine and three set up here with the sport grip on the steering wheel. Very nice R line badge right there at the base of it. The vent set up is linear. It goes across here, straight across. They're all in a the line there. They're not dr dropped down or anything like Jetta and Taos, but they're up right here. You also have this monster mat or i'm sorry <laughs> this uh, door inset right here and also right here all right you do get a um a, adapter here to take the usb c to a usb a that comes in your glove box there along with your manuals and your tire warranty there as well this is a metallic piece right here but it is trimmed out to look like wood grain you do also have uh this auto dimming home link mirror here with three door garage door memory on it digital compass there and a vanity mirror on each side. It gives you an LED light as well. And this guy fell off there. That's what fell down there. And then also on this side over here, black headliner too. And then you do also have the panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade right there. And the panoramic sunroof itself, that pane of glass stacks on top of that one there. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. I have a windscreen right here. I have a guest that just showed up on the showroom floor. So I'm gonna finish this up and move on to the next one real quick here there's a look at the wheels here's the back seats as well this one comes in at 39 680 extras on this one include 395 for the oryx white pearl paint 345 for the auto damming home link mirror 275 for monster mats 160 bucks for the bumper dillo 90 bucks for roadside assistance kit and there's a 200 dollars credit issued for the ventilated seats here's a look at the seats back here comfortable car seat hookups there and there bringing you to a grand total of 39 680 fold down armrest right there i kind of skipped that i'm just making sure i get everything covered here panoramic sunroof instrument cluster center console there 
There's another look at those wheels there. Black bumper dillos installed on this one. Power lift gate there as well. There's a look through from the back to the front. Five seat hook set up there and then also panoramic sunroof. There's your cargo blocks there, roadside assistance kit and purposely left off the front, the front um, uh, license plate there that's installed by request because we get a lot of out of state buyers. Privacy cover right there. And there's your subwoofer, quick release subwoofer there. 12 volt charger port right here and bag hook over here on this side and you have seat pulls on either side to fold those seats flat. And there's your power lift gate. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. I'm hitting that button and it is not going down there. This car will come with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. Four years, 50,000 miles, and includes two years of free maintenance. Your 10 and 20,000 mile oil changes are covered. Also, if you buy from me in Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. If you're interested in ordering a car like this one or finding one like this, give me a call. 636 290 4257. 636 290 4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a great day.